Okay, in this series of videos we've been working through a series of problems called uh, Jake's Consulting Inc. We've worked through the adjusting journal entries, we've worked through the adjusted trial balance, those should be linked through in previous videos. Now we're going to prepare a closing journal entry or closing journal entries for this company. I just want to remind you what a closing entry is. A closing entry is a journal entry where we reset. We say, okay, it's time to start a new year. Uh, when it's time to start a new year, some accounts reset to zero. Others don't. Like when I start a new year, my cash doesn't go down to zero. I continue on with $42,000 cash in this case. But certain accounts do get reset back to zero. They're called temporary accounts, and those accounts are specifically dividends, revenues, and expenses. So assets, liabilities, shareholders' equity accounts, aside from dividends, if you consider dividends part of shareholders' equity, assets, liabilities, shareholders' equity accounts don't get reset, but dividends, revenues, and expenses all need to be reset to zero. So that's what we're going to do in our entry. We're going to credit our dividends to make it go to zero. We're going to debit our revenues to make them go to zero. And we're going to credit our expenses to make them go to zero. And that's opposite of what we normally do. Normally we're only de uh, debiting expenses and normally we're only crediting revenues. Uh, closing entries, we kind of do the opposite of what we normally do. So I've kind of set it up in this, this Excel workbook. I'm going to go ahead and first I'll start by closing my dividends. So let's go ahead and close the dividends. Let's close the revenues. And we'll close our expenses as well. Oops, sorry, I'm having some inking problems, but we'll close these expenses. Oh, there we go. So let's go ahead and do it. And we'll start with dividends. So to close dividends, as we said, it's sitting there as a debit of 10,500. I only use this adjusting column or adjustments column. I don't use the uh, uh, the unadjusted trial balance or the adjustments. I use the adjusted trial balance column. And if I want dividends to go to zero, I credit my dividends. And I'm going to credit my dividends by $10,500. My debit related to this is to debit retained earnings and whenever we do closing journal entries we just close the account to retained earnings so there's our debit and our credit and let me just center that okay so we've closed our dividends to retained earnings now we're gonna close our revenues to retained earnings to get revenues to close to retained earnings, well, I gotta just make revenues go to zero. So, how do I make a credit of 185 go to zero? I debit it by 185. So, we're gonna debit consulting revenue by $185,000. We're also going to debit auxiliary revenue again by just $9,500. And at this point, we can close it to retained earnings. I, I sometimes like to do my expenses all at once. You might have an instructor that likes you to use something called an income summary account. I'm telling you it's not necessary though. If you want to simplify your life, you just close to retained earnings at this point. So I'm going to credit my retained earnings by 185 and 9500. Just let Excel add them for me. 194, 500. The final step is to close our expenses to retained earnings. And to do that, we credit all of our expenses. We're going to debit retained earnings, but we don't know by how much yet. We're going to credit all of those expenses. So I'm going to credit amortization, expense, oh, furniture. I'm going to credit amortization, expense, on my building, uh, and I should just note how much: sixteen hundred for the furniture, uh, three thousand for the building. I'm going to credit uh, salaries expense by twenty-seven thousand four hundred. I'm going to credit 
uh, insurance expense by 15,000. Missed my commas there. I'm going to credit rent expense by 12,000. I'm going to credit supplies expense by four, uh, by 18,000. Pardon me. We always want to use that adjusted trial balance column. I'm going to credit advertising expense by 7,000. And last but not least, I'm going to credit telephone expense by 1,200. My debit to retained earnings is just the amount to make it balance. So I just add up all of my credits and I debit retained earnings for 85,200 and that would be the total of my expenses. At this point, I've closed all of my temporary accounts to retained earnings. I should date the entries. They're all dated December 31st. Uh, they're all fiscal year end entries. So close dividends to retained earnings. Done. Right, I said dividends was a temporary account that needed to be closed. You just ink that in there. Dividends was a temporary account that needed to be closed, and I closed it. Revenues needed to be closed. I closed them to retained earnings, and expenses needed to be closed to retained earnings. I've closed them as well. I've done a good closing entry. I'm ready to start the new year. Again, my revenues, expenses, and dividends all start the new year at zero. But things like common shares, retain, uh, maybe retained earnings is a bad example, but common shares or my liabilities, my mortgage, those types of things don't reset to zero just because it's a new year. We close dividends, revenues, and expenses to zero. That's all for this series of lectures. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope they've been useful.